So this video is going to have a look at solving problems involving different time zones and traveling. So before we have a look at the example, just remember the two different ways that we can be calculating different time zones. The first is the GMT UN, UTC time zones, where every city is divided up into a time zone depending on its location from our zero origin, which contains our Greenwich Meridian line. So if we are plus two, we're two hours ahead of that location. If we are minus three, we're three hours behind that zero time zone. Also remembering that we have the international date line, that if we are traveling over that, we're going to have a change of day. So if we're going from a positive time zone to a negative time zone, we're going to go back a day. If we're going from a negative time zone to a positive time zone, we're going to gain a day. So we have our GMT or UTC time zones. We can also calculate the time difference based on the longitude of the two locations that we are looking at. So if we know the difference in the longitude, we can apply the formula of one degree of longitude is equal to four minutes. And that is going to tell us the time difference between those two locations. So let's have a look at an example of a problem that involves time zones and traveling. So in the example, we have Los Angeles, which is eight hours behind GMT, and Brisbane, that's 10 hours ahead of GMT. And it's asking us to complete three calculations. So let's start off by having a look at part A. So part A is asking if it's 10 a.m. in Brisbane on Tuesday, what time is it going to be in Los Angeles? So to be able to complete that calculation, I need to work out what the time difference is going to be between Brisbane and Los Angeles. So having a look at the original question, we know that Los Angeles is eight hours behind and Brisbane is 10 hours ahead. So we can use those zones to be able to calculate the time difference. So take the bigger zone and minus the smaller zone. So the bigger zone is Brisbane of plus 10. So plus 10 minus negative eight, which is going to equal to 18 hours. So we know that Brisbane is going to be 18 hours ahead of Los Angeles. So now that we know the time difference, we can go ahead and calculate what time in Los Angeles it's going to be when it's 10 a.m. in Brisbane. So we're starting off with Brisbane and it is going to be 10 a.m. So that's going to be 10.00. And then we are wanting to know the time in Los Angeles and we know that Brisbane is ahead of Los Angeles. So we are going to take away 18 hours from that time. So 10 minus 18 is going to give us negative eight. So because it's a negative, it's indicating that there's been a change of day, which we need to factor into the calculation. So to get it back into a positive, I'm going to plus 24 because there's 24 hours in a day. So that is going to become 16. So I want to convert that 16 back into 12 hour time. So to convert back into 12 hour time, I can minus 12 from it. So that is going to equal to four o'clock. And because the original time was 16, that indicates to me PM. So it's going to be 4 PM. So the time in Los Angeles, when it's 10 o'clock in Brisbane, is going to be 4 PM in Los Angeles. Because there's been a change of day, I need to make sure that I'm putting that into my answer. So 4 p.m., and we know that Los Angeles is behind Brisbane, so it's gonna be 4 p.m. on the day before. And the day before Tuesday is going to be Monday. So because we know the Pacific day, we can write our answer as Monday. So if it's 10 a.m. in Brisbane on Tuesday, what time is it going to be in Los Angeles? It's gonna be 4 p.m on Monday. So that has allowed us to answer part A. Having a look now at part B. A plane leaves Brisbane at 10 a.m. on Tuesday and arrives in Los Angeles at 6 a.m. on Tuesday. What is the length of the flight time? And it's reminding us that we are crossing the international date line when we are completing this calculation. So to work out the flight time, what we're going to need to do is be working on a start time and a finish time or a arrival and departure time based on the time, same time zone. 
So I'm going to do that based on my Los Angeles time. So we know that 10 a.m. on Tuesday in Brisbane, because of our calculation in part A, is going to be 4 p.m. on Monday. So the plane is leaving Monday at 4 p.m. And it's going to be arriving in Los Angeles 6 a.m. on Tuesday. So Tuesday 6 a.m. And what the question is asking us to do is work out how long is the time difference between Monday 4 p.m. and Tuesday 6 a.m. Now because we have changed our day, we know that at 12 a.m. has been the change of day. So now I've really got two elements that I can work with. I've got from 4 p.m. to midnight and from midnight to 6 a.m. So looking at 4 p.m. to midnight, I know that that is going to be eight hours because there's eight hours from 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. And then from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. is going to be another six hours. So my total flight time going to be equal to 8 hours plus 6 hours which is equal to 14 hours. So my answer to part B is going to be 14 hours. So moving on and having a look at part C, remembering that Brisbane is 18 hours ahead of Los Angeles that we've already calculated. A plane leaves Los Angeles at 23.20 on Tuesday and arrives in Brisbane at 7.15 a.m. on Thursday. What is the length of the flight? So this is going to be similar to the calculation we did in part B. To be able to work out the length of the flight, we need a departure and arrival time within the same time zone. So at the moment we've got Los Angeles being our departure and Brisbane time being our, our arrival. Departure time of Los Angeles into the corresponding Brisbane time. So I'm starting with Los Angeles is at 23 and 20 minutes. So to work out that as a decimal, I'm going to divide 20 by 60 and that gives me to 0 0.333. So the LA time is 23.33. And then because Brisbane is 18 hours ahead, I'm going to add on 18 hours onto my LA time. So that gets me a time of 41.33. Because it's above 24, what that indicates to me is that there's been a change of day. So to adjust for that change of day, I can take away 24 to get it back onto a number below 24 because there's only 24 hours in a day. So 41 minus 24 is going to be 17. So 17.33. And I want to convert that back into a time, a 12 hour time. So to convert it back into a 12 hour time, I can div take 12 away from the 17. So that gets me to 5 and times 0 0.33 by 60 to get it back into minutes. So that's going to be 20 minutes. And because originally it was 17, that indicates to me it's going to be PM. So the Brisbane time that the plane is taking off is going to be 5.20 p.m. And because there's been a change of day and I know that Brisbane is ahead, it's going to be 5.20 p.m. on Wednesday. So now that I've got my departure time in Brisbane time and I've got my arrival time in Brisbane as well. So Brisbane arrival time is going to be 7.15 a.m. So that is going to be 7.15 a.m. on Thursday. So because I've got it in the same time zone, I can now work out what the difference between these two are going to be, and that is going to be my travel time. So to complete the calculation, my depart time is going to be 5.20 on Wednesday, 5.20 p.m. My arrival time is going to be 7.15 a.m. on Thursday. And because I've gone into the next day, I know that at some point it's going to go 12 a.m. So I can look at this calculation in two sections. 
I've got from 5.20 p.m. to 12 a.m. and then from 12 a.m. to 7.15 a.m. So from 5.20 p.m. to 12 a.m. is going to be 6 hours and 40 minutes. And then from 12 a.m. to 7.15 a.m. it's going to be 7 hours and 15 minutes. So to work out my travel time now, I can add those two values together. So it's 6 hours 40 minutes and I'm going to plus on 7 hours 15 minutes and that's going to get me to a total of 13 hours and 55 minutes. So therefore my flight time from Los Angeles to Brisbane is going to equal to 13 hours and 55 minutes. So that's an example of how I can be completing calculations to solve problems involving different time zones and travel time.